squirrel's lost its mind. What's the matter, guy? <clears throat> okay, third gear. Yeah, this is the bridge, okay. Now I want to pick up the speed a little bit. Uh, Rainick Barber Henry, injury lawyers. Yeah, but what about civil rights lawyers? They never advertise civil rights. It's always about injuries. You need a physical injury or they don't want to bother with you. Junction. Uh, geez, I don't know. The next eight exits is pass for Pasco. I know I take a left, just anywhere that says west, I think. I want to get on the west. It's exit 40, 45. I think I want this one. Oh my god. I think. Oh no, I don't know. Sign faced towards towards the the actual mansion and not the road. That's weird. And I can't. I don't see anywhere I can access to get onto the bridge. So this this is very frustrating. It's just all a dead end. No access here. So there may be a trail up here, um, but from here, <laughs> I want to escape. I think I want to hop this fence and then climb up. This is ridiculous. Here's a fence. They don't even care about covering the bottom part. Rather unpleasant to walk on this bridge. I actually hear water rushing through this thing. This thing is still in operation. Some kind of a race car off in the distance. I can't tell if this is private property or what. Busted windows. <clears throat> They're saying this because of the, the temperature changes. It just goes from freezing to, to boiling. Look at that, they got them kissing. Ain't that something? So near the museum, they say there's these weird carvings. But they don't look like etchings at all. They, look, they don't look like anything. Okay, so... In the summertime, the mornings are great exercise weather, and the uh, noontime is great cooking temperature. So you balance that out. You kind of, I find myself trying to time my actions for that weather, exercise in the morning, and then cook in the noon. When will cities get to the point where they say a campsite is not up to code? Or do they do that already? Alright, and they're talking about four, seven. Okay, the boat basin. They have to say it's drug free. Not all boat basins have to say that. 
they're in a bad spot. I don't like the houses around here. They look, they look low class. I'm thinking that this is a bad area. They locked up the bathrooms. They didn't turn on the water. Usually at these boat launch places, they'll have a bathroom for you. But if they're in a bad neighborhood, they respond to that too. Close to the Sacagawea State Park. It says discover pass required, but I just got a flat somehow on my new tire, a new extra thick. And I look, I don't see anything in the tube. But I must have run something over around here. There's a nail and there's a lot of dangerous things. It was enough to to break even my, my extra thick tube. I'm at least five miles away. Another sign for the sanitary lagoon. Keep out of water though, it's sanitary. Yeah, if I probably didn't mess around checking out that boneyard, I would have stayed on the trail and gotten to the Sacagawea because it turns out that way instead I put myself in danger of running over something sharp so the day when both the bicycle and the car go down that'll be a tough day somebody must have planted red mulberries and white mulberries these white ones are hard to tell but this one's ripe actually it's hard to tell it looks like it's yeah the only way I know that the white mulberries are good is because I've bought them at stores before. The white mulberry is an extremely sweet berry and it, when it's really ready it develops this purplish mottled look on it. You can even see it, well, not, no, um, well, it's, it's not in everyone. The sunny side of the tree seems to have more ripe ones than the, the shady side. Here's a nice one. Actually question why I have a I had a spider on my hat. And I should have realized this because of these mulberries. Spiders are all over these mulberries. Got ants all over the ground picking up all the sweetness and spiders in the trees. Alright well I'll keep this this knife in my bag now and I find it's pretty useful for knocking off those thorns. I actually took them all off now. I'm just making note. Delpo might have waited to crop might might have waited to jump on one of these. I'm just waiting to cross the tracks. And I think they this is a very active railroad. Right, so it looks like somebody died on this spot and lots of alcohol. I'm guessing Modelo and yeah. A lot of Mexican reference there. Mexicans generally do that type of stuff. Somebody might have died on the train tracks. Mexicans will really make things ornate. Piece of the railing at the museum, and then here's a, what the railing sat on. The last of the relics. Never seen anything like this. Some kind of building for that. Parking against uh, traffic seems a little risky to me. But I am hearing roosters. I don't know why I'm recording this. I just find it slightly amusing. The snitch button. So the library's got no trespassing signs up on the wall over there. For this little area. It's like a lot of libraries will put up like a tall gate or something. A fence. To keep people out of these special hangout areas. This one you just kind of hang out anytime you want and they just want to dissuade you from doing it by signs. Alright, this is Dr. Phil's book, Self Matters, from 2001. And he goes into some incredible detail about... God damn it. Traveling, you want to trust your instincts for direction, but also verify on the map. See, he's off the sidewalk. That's nice. Yes, some big business. I don't know if that comes in very well. God dang it. Maybe. What gets my attention for this 
is the no swearing right here. Just rolled by a, a white haired old man on a bicycle. Looks like he's enjoying himself over there somewhere. I was thinking in my head that famous Schwarzenegger question Who is your daddy and what does he do? It's like, what if he asked an old man that? The old man's response would be like, my dad is dead. He does nothing. It's age specific. It's sagebrush for miles. This is, this is another bicycler. All right, I did not expect to see a sign like this. Active mining operation. I've been looking over this way, I didn't notice anything. They got it kind of hidden. Alright, I'm not sure what these are. I think they're potatoes. That be seen? They look like potatoes. <laughs> All right, I didn't realize the land would rise. Wow, this is quite a junkyard. Peppers. I think that's designed for the highway people, but who's going to see that? Ah, here's a Columbia. All right. Yeah, there probably should be a trail to go up. Looks like it's here. <laughs> nice trail. Got to backtrack quite a bit. Not gonna lie, these things hurt. All right, I gotta remove those. When I walk, they hurt. All right, very busy. Going over the Columbia River. I've had a couple of bicyclers go past me.
you can see the kind of docks that people use. This one is underwater. A little bit. these people's patio that face the Columbia. It's just an open face. Some kind of open porch. Alright, this should be the Columbia. I don't understand it. I'm all screwed up now with all these twists.